In this video demonstration, we're going to learn how to make changes to an existing factory layout. All of the system assets that have been provided with Inventor Factory were parameterized when they were modeled. When authored, all of the parameters that might be required to change when in a factory layout were enabled for publishing. This means that when I select a component like the forklift, I can go into the Properties Browsers and make changes to any of these parameters. For this component, I'm going to change the default height of the forklift. Once changed, I select the Update button and the changes are reflected in the model. The Align, Reposition and Assemble tools are all great tools for relocating and orienting components that have already been placed in the layout. These commands provide more exact control, however sometimes simply selecting and moving components may be sufficient. Using the Align dialog box, you can align multiple components in various directions and orientations, all based on a selected reference component. For example, I can reposition this component to this reference component so that they are aligned in the Y axis. You can also align a component's orientation. The Reposition command helps you to accurately position components using the triad. The triad enables you to select axes or planes for you to move the component in a translational or rotational manner. In this situation, I've selected the tip of the z-axis on the triad and will drag the component to rotate it about the z-axis. Once in the required position, I can release the mouse, right-click, and select Done. The last command in the Layout Tools panel is the Assemble tool. This tool functions the same as the Assemble tool used for standard inventor assemblies. It enables you to establish constraints between components to locate them relative to one another in the factory layout. A component's landing surface is a planar solid face that is used as an orientation reference to locate it with respect to the floor. Once a component is placed, there may be requirements as well to change that landing surface. This is done using the Set Landing Surface option on the Factory tab. Once active, I can simply select a new plane on the model and it will immediately reorient. Additional modifications may be necessary based on the new orientation and you can use any of the previously discussed layout tools to make those changes.